Welcome to Vegas Live with Nina and I'm Nina and your host and of course you all know where I am. Where am I every Tuesday? <laughs> I'm down here at the Pepper Mill, the Pepper Mill Lounge. Absolutely amazing and apparently they're going to be redoing some stuff here in the next week or so. So I don't know what's changing. I just hope they don't change the color of these couches because they're amazing. I have an um, incredible team with me right now and they've just made a movie called Neon. Right Owen? Did I get the name right? Erin. 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 Erin and Paul. Yep. And uh, Nadia? Nalia. 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 I've got to remember Nalia. And uh, you are the producer, the writer, the director. He is everything. I believe you were also in the movie. Yes, I, that is true. I play the character, Jason. Is that the lead character? No. Uh, no, I'm a supporting character. I play the manager of the, the main three girls in the film. The main three go, oh, sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? That's pretty <laughs> does, cool. Does he, does he manage you? No, he does not manage me. He doesn't manage I, you. I manage myself in my film. You do? You manage Well, yourself? or my husband manages me. Oh, hang on a second. This, this is your husband? This is my husband in this film called Neon. Okay. So, he looks a little older than you. He's a bit older. Yeah? Yeah. So, you like younger women, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, we are yes, in Vegas. I mean, come on. You know, this is Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> what did you write the film about? The film is about, we follow three different girls about uh, going, making their start in the adult entertainment industry. So, and what happens is my character manages these three young girls and I meet his character, Ray, which is a big time porn producer. And I'm trying to become business partners. So I decided to throw like a, a dinner party to impress him and everything mm -hmm. that could did you, wrong, did you impress him? <laughs> did, he, did, you, did you get impressed in the, in the movie? Yes, but you know how these millennials are. They don't really want to work hard. I, no. I, 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 I pined for the olden days, the glory days of porn in the 70s and the 80s when we all worked, and then we all partied. Oh, okay. Well, isn't porn partying anyway? I mean, what sort of porn is it? Is well, it is, a, bu it is a business now. It's a, oh, definitely it, a business It is a multi-billion dollar business. It's a multi And then we're in the right place for that yep. business, too. Mm -hmm. um, what made you write a movie like that? Is it because of Vegas or because of the character? Because you've got everything here to make that movie. Yeah, it started with... Uh, I, I was really focused on a character in the script, and I really wanted to... Then I kind of built the world around her, and then as I realized all of these traits couldn't fit one person, it kind of just grew into more people. Then afterwards, uh, I just kind of came up with like it, the story's pretty loose because I it's more character driven. Yeah. So I really wanted to just focus on what these characters are going through in this intense situation. So there are three women out there that are pri prostitutes, hookers, whatever you want to call the, the, them. They're porn stars. They're porn film. stars. Mm -hmm. well, well, what what is the difference with these porn stars? I'm sorry. What was that? What is the difference with a porn star as of being a woman to buy or a What's the difference? Oh, yeah, well, in the film, they're doing, you know, like cam shows or just scenes where it's, you know, them having sex. And, and, and we really dive into more of the dark side of the industry of, yeah. like, women, like, there's a character in the film that doesn't want to do a scene in particular. And, and that's where our characters come in, where we force them to do things that so they don't So you forced do. them. So you were forced to do things in the movie you didn't want to do. Um, I would say my character at that point is just forced to live a life she almost Kind of doesn't want to doesn't live. want to live right because I'm an I'm an ex porn star I've done all those things now oh you've done it before mm. right but this is not in real life this is actually in the movie right <laughs> no I have not clear. done porn in real life just want to clarify this whole thing because we don't want to put her in the porn industry yeah. but what made you want to take on a, a part like that which is a porn right why I think it shows for women in the world what does it actually feel like to be in this industry. And my character is clearly sh go is going through that kind of like post traumatic life experiences because in so you want to experience this right in actual life. I mean, not your actual life, in actual life in the movie. We have to keep clarifying this because I don't right. want to put her in a place. <laughs> no, it's just it's acting. Definitely yeah. not. It's not real. <laughs> She's an actor. <laughs> it's not real. Um, I did like the character because she she's. She's written as this like very real hardcore character mm -hmm. who struggles with her current situation, who possibly is that through your husband, right? So right. you're giving her a hard right. time. Yeah, well, I I kind of. Mm -hmm. But you know she. We give each other you know, a hard yeah, time. We, I would say you know you can make money out of her. No, but she is riding my coattails, I guess maybe, <laughs> or yeah. I rode her coattails in the beginning. Right. Now she's riding mine now. Right. And 
I, I think... She's paying me, pretty much, for being married. Yeah. Yes. Sort of. That's interesting. Right. It's an so, unsaid agreement. But it's yeah. an unsaid <laughs> agreement. So he's exactly. you. But I'm more, they, but I'm more fixated on the younger generation because that's where the money's at. That's where the money's and that's, at. And that's where my character comes in because I manage a bunch of girls that are just starting out in the, in the industry. So mm -hmm. I see him as this big old time producer and I'm like, I gotta woo this guy. So I try to woo them both and throw this dinner party and yeah. So in real life, do you think a lot of this um, goes on in Vegas? Well, not only Vegas, well, yeah. I mean, this is all over the world. Yeah, uh, with, with the research I did for the film, uh, a lot of it happens in Miami, a lot of it happens in California. Were you surprised how, how much goes on or how little goes on? Oh, it's in, in regards to what? Porn. Oh, well, I, what we really focus on in the film is we're not focusing on the actual like Porn. sex. No. We're more focused right. on the stuff that's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. Okay. So just kind of how they set but up the same, same question. So is it, is it much bigger or is it, is it more prominent than you ever thought it was in no, Miami? No, it's or? honestly, porn's on a pretty small scale. They like to portray it as this like glamorous yeah, and, and lavish lifestyle, but really it's, it's, a, it's a sad life and, and these people are dealing with a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. like Anxiety she was saying, post-traumatic and, stress and, and, yes. and, and a lot of, you know, hardships. So, uh, and so a lot something of these, they really don't want to do. I guess exactly. that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to get the message out there that, you know, when we see pawns or we see, you know, these women like this, mm -hmm. it's not something they really choose to do. And, and I think we need to clarify that because it's something that is sort of thrown upon a lot of women yeah. that, that actually um, don't really do that and should not be, have that name put on them. Exactly. But that's like I think Nelly exactly. and I, our, our interaction shows, because we're older. Yes. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, the toll that it would take and even me being behind the scenes as my character yes just to toll the party in trying to keep up with the, with the younger generation generation <laughs> and i think mm -hmm. it, ju it just it, trying to keep up with me yeah you're trying, to keep, you're trying to keep up with her trying to keep and you're in a place it looks like in the movie that's saying what on earth is going on yeah but mm -hmm. i'm along for the but ride you're, though you're, you're along for the he's along for the ride um, again for the money i was gonna say but it all comes down to the money <laughs> to the money yeah and and so are you happy with what you've done Absolutely. Honestly, uh, where is it now? Where is it? Uh, we're we're, we're right? in uh, post right now. We're still just post? polishing up some of the editing, and, okay. and uh, it's honestly cocktails, just please, coming cocktails. together so great. Is it better than what you thought would happen? A thousand times better. Because of you. Because yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of the actors. Well, I'm once telling you, you. Yeah. Once you finish filming, you're like over it. You're like, oh man. But then, like, once I got in front of the computer, I know when you start getting work. into because I know what post is like. I know what you know. Yeah. What all this editing and all this li is like. And then you see what you've done and you think, wow, did I really get that together? Yeah. Because, wow, that scene is really what I, I have thought and created in my mind. Exactly. But now yeah, I and we have a really good team me. behind us too. Like uh, our, our director of photography, Joel Cazares, he's fantastic. And Brie Felix, she was also assistant director. She was fantastic. And we really just had a great team. Our, uh, Deborah Oakley was a big help as well. So, so give a shout out to all the people that you would like to I, thank I, all I that. just did. Yeah, uh, Carla did. Gravity Peralta was a big help. Sandra Blandon. You awesome. Guys, awesome. You guys know who you are. Now, and you I, are an actor. Oh, go ahead. Not really. You, uh, <laughs> well, you are now. <laughs> uh, I, uh, the world known oh, actor. come on. Come on, Paul. Yeah, the world renowned Paul of <laughs> Aaron. Aaron. As a favor to him a while ago, I he asked. He needed a small part, and it just gives me something to do once a year for a couple of weeks. Or, Isn't that and, nice? Isn't but that this nice? one was kind of out of my comfort zone. Yeah, you think? Because I, I did wear a wig. Um, <laughs> sort of beautiful wig. What sort of wig did he have? It's, he yeah. Big long curly, curly big long curly hair. Oh, curly hair. Yeah. And he had yeah. a goatee. I had a goatee and a mustache mm -hmm. that they they dyed because mm -hmm. I'm naturally salt and pepper now. So they they dyed it dark and. Um, so actually, like it didn't look time. like me, and, and, and it, it kind of, you know, because you know you're looking at the camera, or not looking at the camera, but the camera's looking but at you, you. Yes, yes. and I was able to hide behind the, and which was kind of neat because you that. it really, it was like wearing <laughs> a mask like without wearing His a mask. real personality was coming out, but he didn't want anybody to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could have got into that lifestyle. <laughs> but nobody knows who I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it was fun to do, and, and like Aaron gave the shout outs. Nolly was fantastic. Oh, thank um, you. Another, another young lady, uh, way got we tested 
Um, screen test. Yeah, and, yeah. and there was one in a screen test where they got to get real physical with me, not in a sexual way. Oh. And the other girl ended up hitting my head against the wall about four times, almost gave me a concussion. Nolly was really. Nolly was a, no, no. Yeah. Nolly was able to to, to save you. To, no, well, no, she just did a fantastic part, and I don't. I thought I had more chemistry with her, and and the reason why is she has a Russian background. Yes. Okay, and I thought what a better backstory <laughs> than the Russian bride yes. that came over and got put into the into the industry, and then pretty much she was stuck. Yeah. You know where the other girl was American, so that she was you know, already here. So I, I thought that you know even. Yeah. So I mean, that was my character. idea. I don't know if Erin yeah. ever thought about that. Did that you was... think about that, Erin? Well, she's, first of all, she's beautiful. If yeah. Let's look at that. And she's intimidating. So yes. I think she has this, like, energy and charisma that... Well, when she you does look have, at... a person, have a fabulous personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she really does. Yeah, so oh, with you. her, the, the way, like, her striking look with the other girls, because all the other girls look so like, little next to her, you know what I yeah. mean? So yeah. it, it's good that she just kind of has this look of experience and... So uh, honestly, when we when we but, saw her, we knew we're like. We're now, gonna is get this her. A, real, a long? How Thank long is the film? How, it's hour and a half. Hour and a half. So this is a real. It's a feature film. Feature yes. Feature film yeah. going out there. Um, where are you going to get it distributed, or is it going to go to the movie uh, we're, houses? We're, we're going to do festival. AMC, we're we're, we're going to do, do the festival circuit first. We'll do a screening out here in Las Vegas. We don't have a date planned, but we're looking what for. What are you going to do? AMC. Uh, we don't have that planned yet. Well, you should go there because they're right. really good. I mean, I've been done. I've done a couple of red carpets. I'll do your red carpet for you. And now <laughs> I'll what? hold you to that. <laughs> what do I say? Awesome. Oh my God! I'll be here every Tuesday saying so about that red carpet. <laughs> yeah. No, I won't do that for you. But um, what I'm saying is, AMC is so good. They're very, you know, they, they love all these new movies and everything else. And they're pretty cool with all that stuff. So that might be a place where you're going. Um, how do you feel as to the category of where it's, what sort of movie it is out of all the movies coming out? You know. We've got some very strong movies coming out. Yeah. How, where are you falling? You feel good about it? Yes. Well, ultimately, yeah. Well, ultimately, sex sells. We know that, but that's not what this film's about. I think once people people appreciate realism, and this film's got a lot of realistic characters and yeah. and real stories, so I mm -hmm. feel that will draw people in. Yes, I think a lot of people, especially these it's, days, want to see the real side of life. Yeah. And it's sort of like behind the scenes on the porn industry, what happens in their everyday life. How do they yes. feel to Which be in that? Well, actually, because they're still real people. They're yeah. just doing what Nobody really what knows doing. what goes on behind somebody that's out no. there that's making, exactly. that's doing this for a living. Yeah. Um, I probably think it's very hard for a, a young lady at whatever age they start, mm -hmm. is to decide to go into that. I'm talking about in real life. Mm -hmm. I mean, forget the movie. Movie, you play the part, it's fine. It's, everything's mm -hmm. good. It's, well, you know, I'm not that, but I'm playing the part, and I will do the best I can. Did you have to research on this? I did research um, for an actress. I did research how, how did they get into it, how I did watch some interviews yes. just to see what do they what, think, what, what do they yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. In reality, some of them are actually do enjoy sex. And some of them are really are after money, and some of them have very dr See, dramatic, a traumatic money is everything. Traumatic pasts <laughs> to where, do you know what I mean? They're, I know exactly it's, what you mean. It's, it's a but combination like, of things. I mean, some women don't do anything to get out, anything to get out. And uh, and in Vegas, yeah. I was actually, I, I did write a something myself, and it was it's about a young lady coming to Vegas. Should talk to you about it actually. A young lady coming to Vegas um, on a Greyhound bus. And this mine was going to be a place. I, I actually wanted the Greyhound bus to be on stage. And when she gets off, and she's got actually very much like you, but she was very blonde, uh -huh. very little makeup, and one suitcase. Mm -hmm. And the story mm -hmm. goes on from there. Mm -hmm. um, with this good looking guy comes into where she's a waitress in the whole bit. And it's, you know, <laughs> That's fine. Oh, yeah, it's a fun, it's a play actually. But I might talk to you about it because it's very similar. It's very, it's a really cool. Yeah. And um, on that, how can anybody reach you? Or when's the movie coming out? Or what, what would you like to? Well, we have um, a trailer for the film that's going to be dropping on August fifteenth. So okay. you can check it out on our website at oakpartproductions.com, or you could just follow us on Instagram at oakpartproductions. Okay, wonderful. How can I reach sure if they want to get you for another part? For another whole well, movie? Aaron, <laughs> no matter what he does, whether I always said I'll even help him behind the scenes. That's if he cool. doesn't have a part for me, but he so kind of behind part. the scenes. I'll do the red carpet. Yep. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm, you're just going to be She's there. She'll be the star. focal point. I'll yeah, talk. I'll, I'll talk, talk more. I'll do more. <laughs> well, that's absolutely amazing. And the name of the movie is Nolan. Neon. Neon, sorry. The name of the movie is Neon. Don't forget. Um, look out for August 15th. You said it was coming out. 
is the trailer. The trailer. The trailer is coming out August 15th, so don't forget to watch out for that. And then we're going to have a red carpet and we're going to have a premiere and all that stuff. I don't know when we're going to do that, but um, my tan and young lady will get in touch and find out when all that happens, because we've got to get it out there. Because if yeah. you don't get it out, then nobody knows. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.